we're just inside their house um, in the Avery and um, I've got some food in this bucket which I'm just going to put down onto the floor um, and while they're busy um, with the food then it gives me an opportunity to put the radio transmitters on. Um, Brandy is very friendly and likes to come and have a little bit of a, a snuggle before I put his transmitter on, um, whereas Blossom isn't quite so um, tactile, should I say. So I need you both in the house. So there's just some little bits of food in here. I'm going to start with uh, Brandy. I just want him that way. So, just going to clip onto the tail. And once I've got his on, I'll get myself ready with Blossom's. But Blossom, his backpack's actually on, well, his tail is clip is on his back. So, and then just before they go out for their part in the show, I'm going to give them a little treat. A few little tidbits before they go out. I always give them the leftover bits. They're wading birds, so they're very naturally at home um, getting their food out of the water. All gone. And then the next part of this, uh, the display is actually going on in the background. The next part of this is just letting them go and I'm opening the door. I'm going to run down the path. I'm not going to film and they will hopefully follow um, open their wings up and they'll take off across the trees and make their way down into our flying arena for the finale of the Wings of Africa display um, and we'll see how they get on This is Blossom and Brandy and we're just walking home after their performance in the Wings of Africa this morning. They were very, very good. It's quite interesting working with non-raptors um, but uh, these birds fly in the finale of our Wings of Africa demonstration. And as you can see, once they're on the home straight, there's no stopping them. Um, so I was saying that they fly, fly in our finale. And when they're flying, they're also flying with four sacred ibis um, and four yellow-billed kites and, well, two meerkats. So, somebody shut your door. Let's get some gas up. Brandy Blossom is taking the initiative and went under the fence. Brandy's just going to go in now. Are you going to go in? So, I can just show you me taking off the transmitter on Blossom. It's literally slides off there, you can see the little backpack, the little mounted backpack that she wears um, and that's the radio transmitter, means if they fancy a trip to Southampton, because they like Southampton, um, then we can actually follow their movements. What they're waiting for now is their feeding time, so I'll just get their food ready 
they have a nice variety of food um, they eat a variety um, in the wild I don't know if you can see this but I get uh, snuggles while we're waiting for our dinner um, but the nice thing about having two buckets is I can just use them both separately and I'm just standing them between them now they've finished their food I'll take them back outside and we're going to wash their bucket off they live next door to Madeline. Some of you will know Madeline, the secretary bird. Hello, Maddie. And um, storks are fairly used to this routine, so I normally come over to their paddling pool, their water bowl, and I just rinse out all of their food buckets. Obviously, get thoroughly inspected while I'm doing this. And then if I've got any food left, just throw it into the bowl for them. Not a lot of food left today because they ate it all, didn't you?